Now, if I was to say the word shipwreck to you, it probably conjures up images of Hollywood movies, pirates and romance. But in the antiquities industry, in today's day and age, it provides a big time collector's opportunity. Now, news is just in that a new shipwreck has been discovered just off the coast of Southeast Asia. And within the cargo is contained the highest quality of Chinese porcelain that has ever been discovered to date. And the condition is said to be impeccable. Now, the chosen auction house to bring it to us in the market is Timeline Auctions. So I decided to talk to their expert, Peter Bufton, to find out more. Peter, there are many factors determining the value and collectability of these pieces. Could you tell me about the importance of this porcelain in history? The shipwreck collections are immensely interesting from a scholarly and academic point of view. Uh, there have been a number over the last uh, 20 years that have turned up at auctions in Europe, uh, notably the um, Vongtau cargo, the Nanking cargo, the Geldermarsen cargo, and the Texing cargo. Um, but now we have another one of a rather earlier date, uh, the blue chrysanthemum shipwreck from the Kangxi period, um, dating from the end of the 17th century. Now, the provenance and authenticity is something that's going to raise questions and be extremely significant. Can you guarantee it? We, I think we certainly can. They're, 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 these pieces are very, very typical of Kangxi exports bloom white porcelain that was being made in Jingdezhen in central China for export to Europe um, between about 1660 and 1720. Um, many of these pieces are very typical. The designs, the, um, the deep blue colour, the very fine quality, the thinness of the porcelain. So I'm very happy that these are certainly of, of, of this period, 1680 to 1690-ish. Now I heard there's actually a video showing the divers going down to retrieve the porcelain. Is this something that's also very important in terms of evidence of the provenance? Showing the uh, divers uh, going down to retrieve these pieces does add a, a, a certain degree of um, authenticity to the collection and does make it far more interesting to collectors and museums and uh, institutions who might be interested in acquiring items from this collection. You also mentioned about the condition. How would you rate that? I think overall the, the, the pieces I've looked at, uh, the condition is, 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 is excellent. Typically with shipwreck collections, the glazes are slightly matte and dull uh, with a little bit of degradation. But I think overall these pieces um, are in remarkably good condition. The blue is still about 90% original to what it was when uh, it was first produced nearly 300 years ago. What would you say are the most exciting pieces coming up for auction? I'm particularly fond of this unusual recumbent hound, which originally would have had a, a lustrous black glaze running all over it. Now, sadly, most of that glaze is uh, worn away and degraded, but um, I understand from the uh, owner of the company, Mr. Hammond, that um, there are several more of these in better condition. So I would uh, certainly recommend these to any interested collectors or museums or institutions looking to add to their collections. Uh, this Kendi, it's a very fine, very typical, but a very fine example. Beautifully painted with chrysanthemums. And these little shallow boxes and covers, which were cosmetic boxes, I think are absolutely charming and delightful. So all in all, I think it's the most interesting collection and um, I'm sure it will create a, a great deal of interest when it comes to sale next February. And what is the most interesting and exciting thing for collectors in owning a piece of this history? I think another fascinating aspect of this collection is that fine, here we are finally, th about 330 years 
after this shipment was supposed to have arrived in Europe, it has now finally come here. So there you have it. Isn't it incredible the amount of artistry and detail in these pieces? And to think they were made over 350 years ago and you could be the first owning and collecting these items and they've never even been used. At the next Timeline Auction, you can see all of these items, including complete tea sets such as this. So make sure you don't miss out. It's coming up in February and I'll see you there.